to Hope Oil Modifieds, and he's gonna, uh, we're going to meet these drivers, okay? Y'all come on in a little bit, and David Cooler Band's coming right back. They're going to do that dog hunting man and country to the bone, and going to talk to you about guns a little bit. Oh. And they are sponsored by the, the World of Outlaws. They're wearing their apparel. And I do have some drunken race fan hats and shirts up here out of Cincinnati, Ohio. They shipped those in here. But they have been taught by the World of Outlaws. So y'all visit that trailer sometime today, see what he's got, all right? We got a gentleman all the way from Belfast, Ireland here today. I don't know. He might get the long toe award. <laughs> and I hope he don't miss the race. All right, Wesley. Thank you very much, Swain Goins. Everybody, thank you so much for coming out here. How about a round of applause for that band? Aren't they awesome? What an awesome performance. And, uh, of course, I understand, according to Dwayne, he's going to play him for 12 straight nights. Uh, the gentleman in the kilt we were just seeing here earlier, now walking up to the grandstand area, going to be at Volusia Speedway Park for the Winter Nationals, the Dirt Car Nationals, uh, coming up in Volusia, Florida, Barberville, Florida, coming up here in the next couple of weeks. Everybody, round of applause for the drivers, the beasts in the east, the renegades, of dirt. Yeah. We're going to introduce you to a couple of them really, really fast, and then we'll get the next group on to come out and play another set. I'd like to introduce this driver. We call him the Gastonia Gas Man. Driver the number 01 N3, former Carolina Speedway champion in Gastonia. That is the driver the 01. Give it up for Patrick Lyon, everybody. Yeah. Patrick, man, how's up? Uh, how's things been going this weekend? One more day to go. Yeah, it's been pretty good. On and off, really. Uh, I mean, we set fast time, qualified pretty good both nights, so uh, we just got to get the main event down and go from there. Tonight's the night. How about this beautiful weather? A little windy, but I probably have a little bit of different track conditions for tonight. Yeah, uh, you know, last night was different, but, you know, Thursday night was kind of a day like this, so uh, hopefully it's going in the way, I think, and we'll be really fast. So. There you go. Anybody got any questions for Patrick? A little Q&A session. Anybody got a question for Patrick? Anything? How fast are they getting into the modified around scrapping? How about it? How many miles an hour? Uh, I don't know. I need some help. How fast? How fast? Maybe, yeah. 100. 110. Yeah. 95 to 100. 110, something like that. <laughs> Everybody give it up to the Gastonia gas man, Patrick Lyon, everyone. Going back down there on the stage. If there's anybody want to have any autographs, have pictures with him. These guys are very, very friendly in social media. And speaking of social media, real quickly before we introduce the next driver, follow us on hashtag WinterFreeze5 at Renegades of Dirt and at ROD underscore South. We're also on Facebook at Renegades of Dirt, Renegades of Dirt South. And the souvenir trailer is now open. They're open for business. I know we had about 30 people just stop me alone. Steve Summerlin, series director, said about 30 people stopped him. So you 60 people that wanted to uh, get souvenirs, the souvenir trailer is now open. Going to introduce the next driver, the number six entry. He's also out of Concord, North Carolina. We call him Flying Ryan Ayers, everybody. Ryan Ayers. Ryan, how's it going, man? How's things going? You got a little tangle last night. You were beating and banging on it. You got the car all cleaned up, shined up, bright orange, ready to go for this evening. Yeah, um... Um, we started fourth last night, and uh, second lap, uh, gone out, and uh, uh, we finished 13th, uh, not too bad, uh, just a little bit more drive, um, I think we'll be alright. Hey, what do you think of this, uh, Renegades of Dirt South, and, uh, you know, being a part of this Winter Freeze 5 here at Scrabbing Motor Sports Complex? Um, it's a lot of fun, uh, the track's a little tricky, uh, Thursday night, uh, we started a lot, uh, Last night is a complete um, um, seven track, you know. And that's practice was juicy. Yeah. Uh, hopefully tonight it's not as slimy. So uh, I don't know. We'll just see what we got. Got anybody want to thank sponsors and such? Um, Maxima, uh, JRI, Brown and Miller Racing Solutions, um, FK Rodents. Um. Everybody, anybody got a question for Ryan Ayers? Question? Round of applause, everybody, from Concord. Hang on. Dwayne, Dwayne's got one. Dwayne Goins. They wanted to know what the hell was in your mind the last time you run over that Lions boy over here. That's what they wanted to know. <laughs> do what? What, what, do what, Dwayne? You spoke so fast, I don't think you called it. This guy back here wondering what the hell was your, in, in going through your mind when you run over that Lions boy, like, like last October, I think it was. I'm not sure. Something about running over Patrick Lyon? 
Last October, can we talk about that story? Was that the King of the Carolinas, maybe? No, that was a couple weeks before that. Uh, we were digging, that's all I gotta say. We were going for a win, and... Uh, Dwight Goins is an instigator. He is an instigator. Uh, he definitely has a mouth on him. But, uh... <laughs> but, uh, that race, we were just going for a win. Uh, I kind of felt bad about it, but, uh, I just wanted to do it. Everybody give it up for Brian Ayers. Fly Brian Ayers at a concord. Thanks, buddy. Go over there. Appreciate it. I don't recall. He says, I don't recall. I was dead at the time. We're going to introduce the next star. Now, his car is not on site here this weekend for the fifth edition of Winter Freeze 5, but he will be running with the Renegades of Dirt South Tour, presented by Arizona Sports Shirts. Give it up to the tool man, Mr. Ryan Tool. Ryan, you were the Clary Speedway and County Line Raceway Modified Champion this year in the uh, points division. How excited are you now to take it on the road for 2015 with the Renegades? Uh, pretty excited. I hate that I didn't get to break a car this weekend. Uh, work obligations kind of kept me out of it. That I didn't want to come late and be, be behind, so I decided to come down and help teammate Chris Arnold out, Gary Long, and uh, with Russell jumping in the car tonight. Uh, it's going to be pretty interesting. But, with them two guys trying to run with the rest of these renegades, I mean, they're, they're all tough. And what can you say about Steve Summerlin, and Cody Watson, everybody at Edge Entertainment Incorporated, and, and you know, to finally put together a professional national tour and modified series in the Southeast United States? You know, Cody and, and all these guys have had the renegades things going for a while, but um, I started racing up in Virginia, and modifieds were just growing big, and uh, Steve come along and, and we told Steve from the very get-go that, that he was doing a hell of a job and, and we'd support him in everything he did. So as soon as he come along and, and, and took on this South Series, you know, we held our promise. So we're going to we're gonna hit every great the South Series race we can. What do you think of this racetrack as a course? You're not racing this weekend for Winter Freeze 5, but uh, to prepare for, for next year. Uh, it's... It looks tricky. I mean, I, all I could do was listen to you the other night. The, the video stream was out, but... Uh, it sounded like it was 180 degrees different last night, so it, it's it's pretty tricky to see what's going to go on tonight. But I mean, it's a it's a hell of a place. I mean, they got uh, props up to the promoters and everybody here. It, it, it's a it's a hell of a facility. Race fans, give it up to the driver, the number 84, ready to go this year on the Renegades of Dirt South. The Tool Man, Ryan Tool. Want to remind you again, we got the Renegades of Dirt Souvenir trailer open. They got Dirt Divas, they got Dirt Life. They're all in the house as well. They go to a lot of Renegades events with us. And of course, uh, you can get the World of Outlaws apparel as well. Check it out on Souvenir Row and get you some delicious food in the process. Going to talk to the next driver. He was your QA1 quick time qualifier last night on this uh, Friday as we go into Saturday's program. He resides out of the Volunteer State, Churchill, Tennessee, driving a nine, number 98. Give it up to Lightning, Sean Flannery. Lightning, you ready to go this evening? I think we are. The uh, track looks like it's going to be about like it was last night, unless the wind really blows the track. Talk about just, you know, what it's like to, you know, be a weekly competitor. And you told me you don't see weekly race tracks. And being from Tennessee, what got you involved and how did you hear about the Renegades of Dirt South? Well, we, uh, you know, we're close to North Carolina. But we, we don't run over in this part of the country. Uh, we did in a late mall, but uh, we wanted to uh, see something like this for the southern section. Uh, we always had to go to Kentucky or Ohio or Indiana to race. And we've always complained about not having something closer to the house. So when the Renegades said something about a Southern Tour, I was I was interested. I mean, I thought, man, we got to get on board with that. Of course, a lot of big national events coming up March 26th to the 28th. It's the second annual North Carolina Modified Nationals at Friendship Speedway in Elkin, North Carolina. And if you can't be in our attendance or you're living in Georgia and you want to see the events of the Renegades, Speed 51 TV signed a contract uh, a couple of days ago. It was announced on Tuesday at open practice night. Me and Bob Dillner, Fox Sports 1 personality, Bob Dillner will be the play-by-play -play announcers for that event. Really looking forward to working with Bob Dillner and uh, to really take this modified series to the next level, highlighting all you great stars. Yeah, we're, we're really pumped about Elk. Uh, you know, it's 10000 to win. Uh, we don't get an opportunity to run for that kind of money a lot. Uh, we got some more big races. Uh, the Tyler County 12,000, uh, you've got your uh, Harley Davidson race up in Ohio. So, I mean, Renegades, they're putting out some money. Uh, we're coming to fine facilities like Scraven. I mean, this is a great place. Red, 
I mean, he makes you feel good here, except he wakes us up way too early. No, Dwayne wakes you up way too early. He was the one who makes the call at 7 a.m. I really dislike Dwayne. I mean, he's been on my he's on my bad side now. I mean, and I know he's going to bed about 4 in the morning posting this crap on the internet about 4 o'clock in the morning, and he's back up at 7, and it's like he's been in the bed 12 hours, and just on key, and I'm like, would you just hush? I mean, we'd like to get some sleep. 10 o'clock, 11, that'd be okay, but 7.30, come on, Dwayne. Everybody, give it up to my name, Sean Flannery out of Churchill, Tennessee. Oh, wow. Everybody, we got another champion in the house. Just noticed in a couple of moments ago, three-time Fast Track City Chevrolet Tour Division champion. is a former super late model racer. Everybody knows him as Hollywood David Smith. Give it up to him from Inman, South Carolina. Next driver we're going to introduce took the checkered linen last night. One dollar, Steve. Last night when it was said and done, his biggest win came at County Line Raceway last November in the race for the kids. He pocketed five grand, but last night he won his first ever National Modified Touring Series victory. We call him Birdizzle. He's out of Parkersburg, West Virginia. The four dice of Casey Burdett. Casey, you won last night. And, uh, man, social media has been booming about four dice and bird nizzle. I finally got the nickname right in the PR this morning at 3 a.m. But uh, how about winning last night? Talk about the race. Yeah, last night was pretty good. Uh, the track was great. Concerned me about the motion track change. So not too nice to go until the night. You just got to keep up with the race. Now, you ran super late bottles. You ran still head late bottles. What made you decide to get behind the wheel of these modifieds? I know I saw you last year up in uh, the Northeast at the Ohio River Shootout, winning on a national modified touring level, second race on this tour. How competitive and fun was it? Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, you know, the modified bodies there this year, you know, Toby and everyone uh, putting up the Renegades of Dirt Series, and they got quite a few races. Uh, so you just got to do what you can do. Definitely, man. But well, what can you take from last night to prepare for the big show, 4,000 to win tonight? Well, we, we tested two nights ago. It was all, I think we finished seven. We tested last night the completely the other way, and we won. So I hope we can just go a little bit farther than what we were tonight and pick up a little bit more speed, and I think we'll be all right. There you go. Good luck. Give it all. Bird Dizzle, everybody. Casey Burnett, number four dice. He's out of Parkersburg, West Virginia. Going to try to get for two wins in a row back-to-back. -back. He won last night. We're going to introduce the next driver, everybody. This driver resides out of Madisonville, Kentucky. The Bluegrass State proudly represented as well. He was the first driver to be at the Tech Lines on Wednesday before the bottom fell out, canceling the Twin 750 to win show. That shows me his determination. Mr. Determination, I call him the juice of the OJ entry. Bryce Jewell, everybody. Bryce, welcome, sir. Man, how much fun have you been having here at Winter Freeze 5? And like I said, you're you're the first man at Tech. You're ready to see Marty Dezella and get that car through this scale area. Yeah, that's about all we've done right all week. First time at Tech, we uh, struggled pretty bad all week. We ain't nothing worse than coming this far and struggling. But uh, we tried some stuff last night for the feature. Uh, we had to come out of the B and we just threw some stuff at it. And uh, that's the best we've had in the car all week. So I'm pretty excited about tonight. And, uh, Hopefully we'll have something for him. Talk about the caliber level of going up against you know, great talent like Strimmy and Rudiments coming tonight. Kyle Strickler. Strickler struggled last night. You know, he didn't even get to make the A main. Uh, and he's our defending champion from last year. You know, just talk about the competition of the Renegades of Dirt South and how stout it is. Yeah, all these guys here are tough. Uh, I mean, they're the best drivers at their home tracks. And uh, anytime you go to a race like this, the caliber of cars is unreal. And, uh, there's a bunch of tough guys here, and it's to make the features good, but uh, hopefully we can do a little bit more next month. Well, what is your plans this year? Are you going to run the Renegades of Dirt in the Worth? Are you going to run the big national shows? Uh, what's, what's you going to do this season? Uh, as right now, we're going to run this deal down here, and then we're going to go to the 10,000 and Elkin. And uh, we're just going to kind of see where we're at points from there, how we look. And uh, uh, we're definitely going to try to do the Let It Ride 55 and the Big Modified deal. Uh, there's a lot of money at the line, on the line this year, and Cody's doing a good job of uh, stepping up and really uh, supporting the modified racer. Uh, everybody really appreciates it. Everybody give a round of applause. Driver the number OJ entry, the juice. I call him out of Madisonville, Kentucky. Bryce Jewell. And remember, again, big shows. we got the uh, North Carolina Modified Nationals. Next event, March 26th to the 28th at Friendship Speedway in Elkin. 
the big one, the Mega Modified 100 at uh, the Tyler County Speedway in Middleburn, West Virginia. $84,000 purse, $12,000 to the winner, $1,200 just to start. And I've been announcing there many, many times in the past to see 30 cars, 30 modified start on that race. That is going to be crazy at the Bull Ring, Tyler County Speedway, the Mega Modified 100. Next driver we're going to introduce is the driver of the number 99W in the Urban Racing Surprise Shaw Entries out of Chesterfield, Virginia. Give it up to Chris Arnold, everybody. Chris, how's things been going for you here at the Freeze? Uh, I mean, we had a good night on practice night. Thursday night uh, was pretty good. Last night we just kind of struggled, you know, even to the point where I dragged my lift down the, the road down there. It's just, didn't have a good night last night. It's been bad since <laughs> changed my underwear today. <laughs> I heard that, man. You got me speechless. Uh, you know, but, but, you know, you turn things around. As they always say, when the sun sets, tomorrow's another day. You can have a fresh start. Red and, uh, and James, you know, James Red Griffin and everybody here on the track staff and then, you know, the track specialists have changed this racing surface. Uh, you know, have you looked at it this morning? Did, you know, what can you take from the last couple of nights of racing to prepare for this big show tonight? Yeah, I walked up there and looked at it. It, it kind of looks like it did last night, but more kind of like what it looked like on practice night. So hopefully it'll hold together and maybe dry off a little bit, try and get a little bit better racing. Um, I don't know, man. We just got to get the car figured out. I think if we can do that, we can get back on track where we were on Tuesday and Thursday. You know, Chris, I've known you a long time. Calling races all over the southeast, modified racing, and, of course, you know, you know, County Line, Fayetteville, Dublin, Clary's, Virginia Motor Speedway. How exciting is it that uh, Steve Summerlin leaving County Line Raceway after having a great job as probably one of the best promoters uh, of turning that place around for James and Brenda, the owners, uh, to, you know, uh, the, the, the Upchurch family as well to now have a national tour modified program and being a part of it. Yeah, I mean, we've known, me and my dad known Steve for quite a few years, ever since County Line started running the modifieds. And, and when he started coming around talking to people more about the modifieds, it was just, I mean, it needed to happen and he was man to make it happen. You know, I give it out to Cody for starting the tour over on these series, but I mean, it was nice to have something more down south so none of us don't have to drive eight or nine hours. So, I mean, I'm very thankful for what Cody and Steve and all of them have did. What is your plans here tonight for the big 4,000 win show? Fans are filing in, though. So a lot of pre-race entertainment going on tonight. Uh, just hopefully we get the car back dialed down, try and qualify up front again. You know, track position really is everything. You know, the people start up front, seem to finish up front here. So I think the heat race is going to be a big part on where everybody plays out tonight in the future. Give it hell tonight, buddy. Thank you very much. Everybody from Chesterfield, Virginia, 99W, that is Chris Arnold in the Irwin by Shaw chassis. We have one more segment remaining before we get the band back on stage. Dwayne, we got the band coming back up here in a few minutes. You're going to take over? In a, in a, in a, okay, we'll let you take over and talk. I know you like to talk. We're going to have our We Are Family segment. And ladies and gentlemen, we are going to introduce these two father-son teams. They run on the Renegades of Dirt North, the Renegades of Dirt South, presented by Arizona Sports Sharks. Drivers of the number 17R, 17T, out of Mineral Wells, West Virginia. Give it up to the Dirt Disciples, everybody, of Robbie and Tyler Evans. We love you, Tyler! Robbie. You know, you took a, we're not going to see Robbie Evans in racing tonight because he, he took a pretty nasty spill off in turn three. Talk about what happened last evening. The, the good news is, is that you're okay. A little sore, but you're okay. Let everybody know. Yeah, praise God. I'm okay. Uh, the car's not so good. Uh, it was just one of those racing deals. A uh, uh, car spun in front of me. I threw it sideways to keep from hitting him. And, uh, Another car came in there and hit me, and uh, it's a pretty hard lick. Uh, probably one of the top five licks I took in 24 years of racing. But uh, we uh, we'll tear that car apart, and uh, we'll have a couple new cars out here uh, in just a few weeks. And of course, uh, that is the Elite chassis, and the you know Elite does an awesome job of what they offer on their chassis line. Tyler, let me run over here and talk to you. Finally, finally get to move a little bit after our final segment. Um, How's things been going for you uh, adapting to this new touring life of traveling all over the country, so to speak? You know, you ran the last year on the Northern Tour. You ran up in Tyler County. You ran I-77. You ran Beckley, West Virginia, uh, Elkins, West Virginia. Tracks in your area. What made the decision and why did Daddy say, all right, all right, father-son team, let's go on the road? Well, you know, my dad always tells me if you want to be the best, you got to run against the best. So, uh... We started running with the Renegades of Dirt series last year, and it's worked out really good. Um, you know, traveled a lot and really learned a lot about driving and adapting to different race tracks, and uh, really 
excited for 2015 with the Renegades of Dirt Southern Series. And I think Steve Sutherland and Cody and yourself and everybody is just doing a great job of kind of getting the modified program in this part of the country uh, up and running a little bit more. How fun is it to compete against guys like the Strimmies and the Rudimans and the Stricklers and you know, beating and banging with them, or, or do you not even think about that? Uh, Tyler, I'll ask you first, and then Robbie, I'll have your answer second. Well, you know, uh, we got two lethal chassis we uh, ordered off of David Stream. We've become really good friends with him, and uh, we'll have those together for uh, the friendship race next month. But uh, it's, it's a lot of fun, you know, getting to race with guys that, I mean, former NASCAR drivers, it's just it's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Robbie, you're right. Your answer to that question, I'm just asking. Well, when you're out there on the track, you really don't pay any attention to who's in the car. You just pay attention to uh, you know, driving good, keeping off of somebody else. And then uh, uh, when you get done, you look at the finishing order and uh, you're right there running with them guys. Uh, it, it feels good. But definitely, guys, and uh, you know, just Steve Summerlin, Cody Watts, and everything that's going on here with the Edge Entertainment Incorporated, the Renegades of Dirt, being a part of Winter Freeze 5, how do you feel busting out of the gate with a, like a speed week? This is our speed week. Yeah, uh, this is an awesome facility. Uh, I can't believe uh, being a fat boy when you look at a concession stand that has a buffet. <laughs> Compared to what we're used to in West Virginia, that's quite, that's quite a thing. And uh, the way they have all the different tracks and everything here for the fans, uh, this is something special they got going on here. Everybody give it up to the Dirt Disciples of the Mineral Wells, West Virginia, the elite chassis of Robbie and Tyler Evans, father-son team. You'll see Tyler tonight, Robbie again sideline, but he'll be helping out his son race this evening. Give him a round of applause. Dwayne Gullis, will turn it back over to you, buddy. Renegades of Dirt souvenir trailer is over there. They got the merchandise if you want to get it. In the next set, when they take a break, we're going to try to get NASCAR star David Strimmy, the Rocket Derek Ramey, and a whole bunch of others. Don't go anywhere. Hope you're all enjoying the concert. Back to you, Dwayne.